Rescue Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. I'm Jim Byers, and this is the Weekend Wrap-Up for a rather light schedule during the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday period. Here's a look at some of the biggest recent races. Starting on November 22nd at Zia Park in Hobbs, New Mexico. Among the multiple stakes on Land of Enchantment Day, the $140,000 New Mexico Phillies and Mares Championship. The 9-to-5 favorite is in post-7, Princess Jessie. Running Dragon rocketing out along with 61. Inside, that's first Vegas Moon. Next in line is Princess Jesse Jane. Mid stretch, 220 to come. It's Running Dragon in front. First Vegas Moon, the inside. Princess Jesse Jane. Running Dragon has the lead. It's Running Dragon all the way. Another strong showing by Running Dragon. Win number 11 from 17 career starts. This daughter of Zulu Dragon and the mayor Banking Lane won the mountaintop in New Mexican Spring Futurities last year and has banked almost $696,000. Ridden here by Adrian Ramos. Running Dragon is owned by her breeder, Bye Bye JJ Limited Partnership. Juan Gonzalez trains. Princess Jesse Jane was second. With first Vegas Moon third, the winner's time 19.755 seconds. Number eight, Funny Money, nosed out the heavy favorite Zoom and Racer in the King Rick Rack Stakes at 870 yards on November 22nd at Zia. This son of the thoroughbred Munnings was ridden by Francisco Amparan for owner Leanne Archuleta and trainer Adam Archuleta. On November 19th at Los Alamitos, number five, Jess Good Reason registered a half-length tally over the four He Looks Hot in the first of two Z. Wayne Griffin Directors Trials. They both qualify for the $750,000 Champion of Champions on December 16th. Number nine, B.H. Lisa's Boy already owned a spot in that grade one race thanks to previous wins this year, but had a comeback race in the second trial and edged out number seven to one two special. Others gaining spots from this trial are the five zooming for spuds and number one firing two. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. You're not just my horse. You're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Back to Land of Enchantment Day for the $150,000 Grade 1 Zia Park Championship. Nine lined up to face reigning world champion Jesse's first down. He was the 4-5 to five choice from post six. Imperial Eagle broke quickly along with Jesse's first down towards the inside. Majestic Eagle, then it's TM. I'm that guy, center of the track. Knock him out, Cappy. Mid stretch, and Jesse's first down is asserting himself, and he's drawing away with long and powerful strides. The battles for second and third. Jesse's first down, absolutely wallops him. Another tremendous performance by Jesse's first down. Just in the past two calendar years. This incredible six-year-old gelding has 13 wins and four seconds in 17 starts. Rodrigo Vallejo, the jockey. The reigning AQHA world champion, Jesse's first down is a Texas-bred son of FDD Dynasty and the Mr. Jess Perry mare, Jessa Classy Lassie, bred and owned by Ted Abrams, Jimmy Padgett, the trainer. Jesse's first down surpasses the million mark in earnings. His bankroll now $1,011,000 plus. It's time for 440 yards, 21.795 seconds. Our next weekend wrap-up will come to you from Southern California, where we'll have full coverage of the Champion of Champions and Los Alamitos 2 Million Futurity, December 16th and 17th. Thanks for watching.